Hey guys, how are we going? We're back playing some more Raid Shadow Legends. How are we going, guys? So, we're going to continue on with our campaign today. Uh, so, we're going to go through the, I believe it's the third campaign. We'll find out in just a second. But I thought I'd just quickly go through some of the things that I've been doing um, in between videos. Um, you know, a little bit um, pieces here and there kind of thing. So, as you can see, I'm nearly up to level 18. So, 86%. And once I hit level 18, we'll have accessibility to the market, which I'm interested to see and find out what that's all about. Uh, at the moment, in the sparring pit, I've got one of my uh, characters here nearly fully maxed out as well. So, uh, common player, oops, I should probably just jump into here. I think that'll be a better way of doing it. So, common player, or sorry, uncommon player, I should say. Um, max level, level 20, until we have to jump into the tavern, I believe, to increase the max level. At the moment, I've got a couple of rare um, ancient shards as well, so hopefully we'll get some rare players out of that, and at least rare players will have a max of level 30 before we decide if we want to uh, go beyond their natural um, limitations. And pretty much at the moment, I did receive my first uh, epic uh, character. So, <clears throat> so we have a uh, the shaman orc from the uh, from that faction there. So um, we'll have a level forty um, ability with that uh, with this character as well. So I'm not going to use that just yet, and I'm just for the only reason. So at the moment, I'm basically playing this game as a free to play player i'm not going to be wanting to <clears throat> buy anything or jump in into anything like that excuse me one sec just need to grab some water <clears throat> okay so sorry about that so basically my thought process with this is i've always if you've watched my other videos i do a lot of free to play games or i basically act as a free-to-play player so with that being said I sort of want to try and play the game as much as I can without having to dive in into any sort of um, uh, you know uh, uh, you know buying sort of uh, certain things anything like that and I'm just gonna let the, the game run auto for a little bit while I have a bit of a chat to you guys as well so I do apologize for that but I just want to sort of give you guys a, a better understanding on on the way that I sort of want to play the game. A lot of people have their own ways of doing it. A lot of people will have, um, you know, certain videos. So we're talking about creators here, we're sort of talking about, um, a lot of people will have a lot of, um, you know, sort of unboxing videos where they'll have um, a, a lot of um, rare or epic or even, you know, legendary shards that they want to sort of open up. And a lot of those may very well possibly be purchased. Which is fine. I'm not sort of um, discrediting anyone that's going to purchase anything or anything like that. That's the way that you want to play the game. It's up to you. So you play the game to the way that you want to, you know, essentially play the game. So do it to the way that you guys prefer to play. And that's basically it. Anyway, for myself, I'm just going to go free to play. So I've got to work a little bit differently. Probably a little bit more harder in that respect as well and strategically. So... What I'm sort of looking at is at the moment, <clears throat> I've got two uncommons in my main party and two rares in my party as well. My two uncommons are going to have a max level um, of level 20 before I have to decide do I want to increase them. And, you know, that's something that's probably uh, another video that I might have to make on that as well in the future. So, with that being said, I've got two rares that will have um, usability up to level 30 before they sort of get maxed out. And that sort of comes down to other little attributes as well with all these uh, champions. Do I invest in high level armor? Do I invest in low level armor? Do I not invest anything in them? So little things like that. So these are the sort of things that I'm uh, currently thinking about at the moment and seeing how I sort of want to play and progress. So what I've actually know, um, got as well is now that I've got my epic character from this seven day login, I've also got two rare shards that I've got the ability to use shortly. You know, I can use them anytime. 
they're going to give me two extra champions that I'm going to have the ability to level up to beyond level 30. Or oh, sorry, to beyond level 20 to level 30. I've got the epic that will, you know, end up for now being my main character to use up to level 40. Until by then, hopefully, I'll have um, other champions that I might be able to get from different, um, you know, uh, shard unboxings for myself or you know through other seven day logins or any other sort of medium that I'll be using throughout the game as I sort of progress along so that's where I'm sort of at with things at the moment so I'm sort of trying to find balance everything at the moment until I get to a certain point you know in the campaign that I need to go and invest in these other um, champions or I probably start investing now and you know either train them through the um, sparring pit or just use them in my active group just pulled it uncommon that's all right um i'll leave that for now so yeah so that's my thought process with this guys and i sort of asked in, a, in the last couple of videos and i'm going to keep asking as well um what do you guys think with uh free to play players what would be the best play for them starting out so i wanted to do the basic campaign just to sort of give you guys a bit of a rundown i'm sure a ton of you guys have gone through this yourselves you know really not may not be interested in it that's fine i'm only doing this for myself and anyone else that's interested in watching any sort of gameplay of the basic campaign uh campaign and if they're not up to that level where i am depending on when you guys are watching it of course at least it gives you a bit of an idea on what to expect what type of enemies that you might be facing and at least you guys can actually um you know uh pre-prepare yourselves so you know if you guys would use that fantastic Okay, so just hit level 18. I'm going to keep going and we may visit the market later on. I just wanted to go through uh, the third chapter of the campaign. And I think I might do the campaign for a little bit and just see how um, that all progresses. And hopefully you guys actually like it. Um, but, you know, the only way that I'm going to know that is if you guys hit the like button. So if you guys are enjoying it, let me know by hitting the like button that'll really help me out comment down below with all the tips and suggestions that you guys might have for myself but not only myself but anyone else that are that's only starting out in this game it is a really popular game so um i haven't seen too many people do sort of you know uh, walkthroughs of the campaign or anything like that if not any so i might not be looking in the right section or there might be some people that have already accomplished that i'm not sure but i figured i might do it not only for myself but for you guys as well so i hope you guys uh do appreciate it really so <clears throat> but anyway um yeah so i'm pretty much at that uh teeter point now with that i sort of got to look at my champions at the moment so my two uncommons are nearly up to level 20 which they're going to be maxed out and i'm not going to have any sort of further movement unless if I start investing and I don't think I want to invest in my uncommons right now um, again not knowing how well these uncommons can be um, uh, upgraded ascended to higher levels and you know would that be a better move or play for myself or am I just sort of wasting my time with them until I get better champions further down the road and with that being said, the, their armor as well. So right now, I sort of grinded the, the first chapter. Got all the same star level um, pieces of armor for each of these players that are currently playing, as you see at the moment. And I sort of upgraded them to about level 5, level 6, I think it was. You know, didn't invest too much in that. I think, you know, I think about two, 3,000 coins, something like that each time. I've got over 500,000 at the moment, so... Like I said, I didn't go too crazy. Some people might think that might be too much anyway at, at this point. Um, I sort of wanted to f sort of future-proof these guys and, you know, and get them as far as I can take them until that they're not strong enough to keep going throughout the campaign. And I think that's probably the reason why I've sort of done it in the first place. So, yeah, <clears throat> what I'm sort of looking at is what else can I do to essentially, you know... Um, better prepare myself for future um, and at least this way you know I can hopefully provide you guys better uh, gameplay and you know might even get into you know other sort of ge uh, gameplay where you know I just go all out and just take on you know bosses things like that uh, clan bosses if I jump into a clan things like that 
and that's sort of what I'm looking at but what I'm doing now is I just really want to work my way up and get to a point where you know I can you know get decent champions so that's basically where we're looking at at the moment <clears throat> and we are nearly done with this chapter chapter actually so we've actually done quite well pretty happy with that um, so far no one's actually died which is good and we're at the boss of this chapter so hopefully this shouldn't take us too long but you know there's always you know um, yeah, surprises that always come our way so okay so it's just us four and the boss this will not take long at all and yes, and I know doing it on the on the normal level, there's really not much to it. Um, you know, obviously, if I go up to the brutal mo mode, you know, I'll need at least level 60s right across the, the board for me to actually a go through this. To King Taba strapped to a chair. Sorry, guys. His um, okay, so do apologise about that. Usually, I'm pretty good with this. Sort of keep rambling on, but you, anyway, um, enjoying the lore side of things, and this is the other reason why I sort of wanted to show you. Uh, the campaign so you guys get to actually read this or watch this over and over if you really needed to anyway enjoy they made short work of the aggressors then cut the king from his binds i have been bewitched he began in rasping breaths forced to declare then handing them his royal signet he said Ask Queen Eva forgiveness for my forced betrayal. Thank her for giving refuge to my people and request her help to find the cause of this, this shadow. Yeah, sorry guys. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, that's probably the other reason why I wanted to, to uh, do the campaign. So at least that way you guys get to sort of look at these sort of things and watch it for your enjoyment. Um, otherwise... We're going to head back. Just want to quickly check out the market and then we'll call it a video. Okay, so market's pretty standard. So you only get a certain amount of items that you can look at and obviously refresh. Not too sure why that these guys here are locked away. There's only certain things that we can sort of um, look at or purchase <clears throat> refresh will happen in the next hour and otherwise we'll use gems to refresh accordingly so i don't know if i actually purchase one of these and will that unlock the second part i'm not too sure but anyway that's the market pretty simplistic all good all right guys um that's it for today hopefully you guys enjoyed this one let me know down in the comment section what you thought about it hit the like button if you enjoyed it and if you guys enjoy the content make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell all that sort of stuff Alrighty, guys take it easy catch you next time